A 17-year-old is thankful to be alive after he was bitten by a pygmy rattlesnake. Man, can you imagine? They are one of 30 venomous species in the U.S. and especially active during the summer. News Force Tanner De Leon spoke with the teenage victim and his family about the terrifying experience. Tanner? The church family lives on a farm with more than 40 acres, and they said that they deal with snakes all the time, but this is the first time that one has gotten inside their house and bit someone, and definitely, hopefully, the last. Shocking. Terrifying. Did it hurt? Yes. Very much so. Jonathan Church was getting out of bed to grab a drink of water this morning. What he didn't know, a pygmy rattlesnake had slithered into his room overnight. He took a step toward the door, and next thing he knew, he felt something bite his foot. The pain at first, it was like a five. I was kind of panicked because we get a lot of snakes, but we haven't actually gotten bit by one yet, so I was a little petrified. His mother, Diana, is a retired nurse, so she started treating her son. But without being confident on what kind of snake it was, she was worried of what could happen. We were afraid that it would swell more and he would lose his foot or at least get some damage from the bite. Thankfully, doctors said the snake only got Jonathan with one fang, so they were able to treat the bite and prevent it from getting worse. They said that he might need crutches depending on how it feels tomorrow, but they're going to let him go home tomorrow if there's no change in his labs. Jonathan is happy to be going home tomorrow, but he said he's keeping an extra eye out moving forward. I'm still terrified of snakes, of course, and well, I don't want to ever get near one again. I'm right there with you, Jonathan, and he's going into his senior year of high school this fall. And while he says it's going to be a great story to tell once he gets back in the classroom, he's happy he will be telling it with his foot still attached to his body.